Okay, let's look at how to set up an on new artifact trigger. We're going to use a Docker artifact for this, a Docker image. So this is actually a, um, the on new artifact trigger is for CD stages and pipelines, but I'm going to show you, first I'm going to show you CI because this is how I'm going to be creating the new image version. Um, I'm just going to build this little app and it's going to post to my repo here in Docker Hub with a new tag. One, I'm going to post 175 and when that happens, my trigger for my CD stage here is going to fire and it's going to deploy that new version. So I'll show you my trigger. All this stage is, there's a service here, which actually if I look in the service, it uses that um, app as its deployment object. It doesn't have to be the same artifact. You might have a custom stage that fires when some artifact is used but you don't have the artifact listed here. But most of the time you'll have the artifact listed here, the artifact that'll fire the trigger. So an environment, just my target environment for the deployment, and then just a rollout deployment step. So in triggers here, I have my new on new artifact here. In here I'm pointing to that repo, tweet app here, which is this guy here. I'm pointing to that repo. That's all I've done is connected to Docker Hub and pointed to that repo. And then I didn't set any conditions. I could set a number of conditions, including regex to say, um, you know, if you had multiple names, multiple tags and that sort of thing that I wanted to uh, identify with the build. And then over here, I am going to, I could have inputs if I had some runtime inputs in those settings, those would be configured here for the trigger, trigger and they'd be used when that trigger is fired. Um, one thing I will show you actually back here, um, which is valuable in the service here for my object, for my artifact I'm deploying, I am using this expression, trigger.artifact.build. So that is going to be, when that trigger fires, it's going to pass in the build, which will be 175. It's going to pass that in here. And so we'll automatically grab that tag using that expression. Okay, so let's build it. So I'll run this guy here. I'll say 175. You can ignore the second stage. It's going to get skipped. The second stage. It's just I set this up in case I wanted to do a, a build and a deploy in the same uh, pipeline. But it's going to get skipped for this example. We're just going to run this stage to build that number one seventy five and push it to Docker Hub. All right. We're cloning the code base here in CI. And there we go. Um, doing the build here, and we have 175 right here. So now, I'm going to wait to finish. It's not instantaneous, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, it's done, and we'll go here. We might have to refresh a few times before Docker Hub picks it up. No, we didn't. There it is right there, very fast. So, pushed a few seconds ago. So now, We'll go back to this guy and we'll look at the execution history and wait for it to get fired. This was the last one I did. It's going to get fired though. The very first time you uh, run your pipeline, it won't. you can't use a trigger. It has to be the second time when you use the trigger, just to know. All right, so now it's been started. It is running. And we can watch the deployment. Watch it pick up. 175 based on our trigger. See here in the completed deployment, if you go to initialize here, this is the rollout. You can see here is what we're initializing for deployment, namespace, config map, service, and here's our deployment. And there it is. The tag is 175, the one that we updated right here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up an on new artifact trigger for CD stages.